Well, today we're installing an amateur radio beam on a 100-foot tower with the use of this 100-foot plus crane. And this is the antenna. It's sitting on a test jig right now so it can be tuned up. It's too heavy to pick up and too high, so we're going to use this truck to do the job. In the meantime, as we're working away, uh, Jeremy off on the right side of the uh, video screen here is bringing some pizza. you got to eat it while it's hot because it's going to cool off pretty fast. Hey, Dave. Hey, hey. Brad, lunch if you guys want some, so help yourselves. Nice. In the meantime, you can hear in the background, they're trying to start the truck, but there's no luck, and of course, the battery's going down and down. You can put it in the back of my Jeep. I mean, it's, it's warm, I mean. <laughs> put it in the truck to keep it warm. Nice guy how are you, Dave? Does his free fall. Things are going so well. Really? Looks like they're going. Walk the beam out there. Well, what are you going to move the truck for? But it's too damn high. Well, a few people were tall enough to probably hold this beam, but uh, we need more than two people. So that's why we had to use this truck. Uh, the truck was the problem because it didn't want to start, so Roger had to bring his. Uh, Car over and go through a jumper hookup to charge the battery and try to start the truck. It took a while, but it finally got going. So we did the other one. Okay. You got cables in your car too, RP? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and he couldn't figure out, he thought it was me like plugging something in that I wasn't supposed to. I'm like, one in, I blew it up, he bought another one, and the same fucking thing happened. So he's like, well, I can't do it. He brought it in. There you go. About 16 and a half volts, uh, way over what you would hear what it's rated for. Truck stop. Bad. Yeah, it's a little bit well, it takes about five guys to get this jumper cable on. Well, the springs in that thing were, were really tight, and there weren't any good points on the battery to put the clamp on, and that made it difficult. It was a short run to the truck battery, but to get those clamps to stay in place without popping off, that was some job. Take a charge for a little bit. Yeah, let's just wait a while. Sure, you got gas, gas in there? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, you smell gas there? If you got a cigarette and it's gas fumes, <laughs> you're going to light up. Ain't gonna go. Well, I got the trader halfway here, and I saw. As I got the trader halfway here, then I saw you got me moving. <laughs> Okay, the next 
step is to get this bucket up in the air and over and center properly so the truck doesn't tip over. Uh, it took a while. We had to go slow in this process and then we pull a rope off the uh, bucket truck here to pick up the antenna and bring it over to the site.
up the road and bring the bucket down. Actually, you're pretty good where you're at. You're pretty well centered all the drive with that thing there, huh? Well, once we get it up, picked up, then you can suck it up and move it in towards your one. Okay. okay? So what I'm telling you is, when you bring the bucket down and bring up the rope. Yep, yep. Once you get it picked up, once you bring that bucket down, it's going to bring everything closer. Right? Take that horse and just throw on the ground. Ready? Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. Gable it up. Now the slow walk or slow drive over to where the 100 foot crane is uh, waiting to bring this up to the top of the tower. And this trip wasn't without any pearls. It, it came around a corner, one of the antenna uh, lobes or beams, or one of the elements here, got tangled up in a, a microwave dish sitting in a pile. Somebody saw it and stopped the truck just in time. You'll see that in about two minutes. Is October what, 30th? No, better not be, because I have an appointment. 29th or 30th? Today's Sunday? 29th then. 29th, 2017. How many crazy people do this? Thank you. 
Okay, now the antenna has been transferred from the uh, bucket truck over to the uh, crane and we're watching it go up at this time. Someone's on top of the tower to receive it and put the uh, pipe into the uh, rotor. Well, when you have the right tools, everything seems to go into place. And here we have this beam, 100-foot tower, and it's fed by 7-8 hardline, which is about 1,000 feet long.